Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one has been a while since we've talked about the $10 Omi and actually broke some things down. Since so much new stuff has been revealed, we've heard stuff from Dan, we've heard stuff from David, we've heard so much new stuff, and people are starting to realize how realistic that it could be. Um, we're going to be talking about it once again. So we're going to be going over it. Obviously, the supply needs to go down. If you don't know this, this is not a, this is not a video for, oh, it's going to be a $10 Omi this year, next year, anything like that. If you don't know, I'm a 10-year holder, so my expectations for the token is to be around that area or heading there by the 10-year mark. Um, so that, that's that's basically my my time frame for when I'm looking at a $10 Omi. Now we're gonna we're gonna be breaking down exactly what is going to be some catalyst for this, and I'm going to exclude all the NFT stuff from the other side of NFTs. If you don't know what I mean when I say the other side of NFTs, um, I've made a few videos on it. I'll try to link those down below, um, so you can actually understand what NFTs were designed for and why their their biggest use cases are multi-trillion dollar industries. And um, the arguments that I make believing that VV will actually or Ecomi will actually jump into those sectors as well. But for this one, we're going to be focusing strictly on the the implications that the um the metaverse will actually have or the VV verse will actually have on the token. So starting out, I think that the world is changing. The world is changing very much. These days, when you're thinking about dating, I, I was actually asked on um on a stream recently about dating, who who I'm dating, how do we meet, and things like that. How do you meet the person that you, how did you meet the person that you're with right now? Did you meet somewhere in the real world, like high school or something like that? Or did you meet online? I, I know for me personally, over the last few years, the majority of the people that I met in general is always online. I meet more people online than I do actually in the real world now. But to be fair, I work from home. So that, that that's a big reason as well. But yeah, I don't ever really meet people outside of the internet. I feel like the dates and stuff that I've been on, the, per the 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 person that I'm with now, I met her online. It's like a lot of stuff is online. When it comes down to your entertainment, you probably watch that on the internet. When it comes down to social media, you probably talk to the majority of people through the internet. So what I, I believe is coming here is the digital revolution where a lot of things are moving to online. So I think that jobs, even it's, it's going to get to a certain point where jobs are going to be online and nfts and things like that is going to play a huge part in different industries moving to online where there's going to be a, it's going to be a point where more opportunities are online than there is like just in in the real world as we see it right now so i think that well not, i'm not going to say more it's going to be a long time for that but i'm going to say <clears throat> these metaverses are going to start building up jobs and and, and in a way where we're gonna it's going to start to rival the, the real world, and eventually I feel like it could overtake the real world. So that, that's just my thoughts. Obviously, there'll always be certain things that's needed, like police and, and um freaking firefighters and things like that. But yeah, construction workers, there's gonna be industries that's not going anywhere because even if we have a metaverse, there's people still have to live somewhere to take advantage of that. So um yeah, anyway, that, that being said, that whole spiel over with, let's talk about it. One of the biggest things I feel, feel is going to be insane is the the social aspects of metaverses. So when you think about people, when you think like, what, what do you do? Like when you're with friends and things like that, you all probably can maybe compare clothes, like super successful people, they compare houses. Um, they talk about collections they have, like collections of art, maybe collections of clothes, cars, homes, like different types of stuff. And we all do that at a smaller scale. Maybe it's shoes, the clothes, the shirt you're wearing, you got a new chain, jewelry or, or something all that stuff is is, is part of the, the social aspect of living like you all you accomplish certain things and then you're proud to show it off to certain people and your friends the same way with them they're proud to show you what they've accomplished and what they got something new that they've invested in or something like that and it, it that's just how life works i think because i think the world is moving towards the metaverses and i think the vverse is going to be an example like so at the point where people spend the majority of their time online which is already now to be fair but at the point where people spend more time online than they do in the real world, it's going to get to a point where it makes more sense to have more online assets than real world assets, or at least to equal real world assets. So that being said, if it's not the chains or the cars or the homes that you're talking about, that's your biggest flex, what is it going to be? In my opinion, housing in the, in the VV verse is going to be big like that. Housing is like in your house, 
how does your house look? Hopefully there's customization for how homes because I hope every single house in the VV version doesn't look the same, but upgradables for homes and stuff like that. I, I want to be able to walk through the VV verse and distinguish a millionaire from somebody who's like just, you know, just a regular person. And not, not for the sake of making anyone feel better or anything like that. It's just that if you have more money, you should be able to buy cooler things. And obviously to get this token down to the point where, where, where it would ever reach a $10 level, we need Omi burn. So that means more stuff to burn. We need upgradables. I want them to be able to add a big ass pool. I want them to be able to have a um, theater room. I want them to be able to have a, I want to see mansion mansions, mega mansions. Like if somebody got money, money, let them have a mega mansion. Like even if they not living like that in real life, they can't quite afford that in real life. In the VV verse, I want them to be able to, to have their dreams mocked up in the VV verse and then maybe us use the VV verse to kind of build that wealth, <laughs> like build the wealth that they actually want from where they currently are. So that being said, I'm hoping that there's a uh, that there's a way that housing housing can play a role. Like maybe people will own multiple pieces of land. I think that um yeah, well I mean it's land ownership. It's going to be some people buying up different land, doing what they want with these pieces of land and things like that. <clears throat> then clothing. Because you don't really have to you're going to be in a metaverse. You don't have to care about the clothes that you wear and stuff like that, especially if you spend a lot of your time in this metaverse. Clothing, they already said we'll have clothing for our avatars. Clothing is going to be big in the VVverse, I feel like. I feel like clothing is going to be one of those things where, okay, maybe if they partner with, let's say, Jordan, Nike, let's say if they partner with some brands like that, they can get some virtual shoes. Maybe, I don't, I don't know if it's NFTs, if they're going to be NFTs. Maybe they can get some, some like, special type of NFTs that, that like, shoes, like the retro Jays and all that stuff. Maybe they can make those NFTs, the first ever NFT Jordans or something like that. And you could be copping those and walking around them in them in them in them in the VV verse because obviously certain shoes are so valuable in the, in the real world where you wouldn't want to actually wear them. So in the VV verse, you could actually have one, let's say a ten thousand dollar pair of shoes, and you would wear them. You like you would wear them, and you would be able to run, do whatever you want to do in them because they can't get scuffed up. So it would make sense in the VV verse, and I think that we're gonna see something like that where you can start seeing shoes and and different, or maybe this could be a point where they bridge something with real life because who knows if someone would actually be willing to pay for that type of expensive shoe without getting it on, in a collectible form. So maybe maybe, maybe they um, can pay for it and, and it's, it's somehow linked with the real shoe purchase. So they can start doing limited shoes in like, like just say Jordan or something, do a limited edition shoe run and then alongside it NFTs and then they just charge a little bit extra so everybody gets paid where they have to when it comes down to that shoe and that um that NFT. So now you're part of this exclusive club that has these certain shoes in the VVverse or whatever. So that's what I'm thinking about when it comes down to clothing. I'm thinking about the exclusivity when it comes down to certain outfits, certain things people can wear. Um just just the different the different style of dressing and stuff like that. Like I don't I don't know if I don't want to see a Fortnite type of thing where you're wearing weirdo skins and stuff like that. I really don't want to see all that. That I want to see real world assets. I want to see clothes that like I want to see stuff from Jordan, stuff from Adidas. I want to, I want to see, and even if it does not have these labels first, if they don't have these licenses to begin with, I want to see those come in the future. So people are buying these name brand things and then they have limited editions NFTs that come along with real world shoes. So now you have that bridge between the real world and the collectors world then you have of course the collectible section i want to see um basically like showrooms and stuff like that you're gonna have showrooms you're gonna have whole homes and things like that so these collectibles i want to see areas of the vv verse or, or people's homes where you can show off all your collectibles show off your your one collection of cars where they have these luxury vehicles then your other collection of cars where it's like the the, the, the delorean and, and ghostbusters cars and, and things like that so the collectibles, the collectibles is going to be a huge, huge money generator for um for the the company as well for VV. Um, then of course the comic books. This is stuff that's all going to be displayed around the home. So maybe it's the comic books and posters and stuff. You could put those up on walls in the house around the house. Um, and and that's 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 what's crazy too. You could actually decorate your home accordingly. Like let's say they make they let they allow um they allow VV to make Marvel rugs or something or to to mint Marvel rug NFTs so you can have those in your home like people can you can literally have a Marvel rug you can have you can have all this stuff that matches and, and is around your house how you would want your house in real life 
but I mean, you can't really do that because certain things are valuable. You don't want to just leave a super valuable comic on a wall at your real house because obviously it can get stolen. But in the virtual world, the metaverse, I, I mean, hope I, I don't want it so realistic where you can get robbed. Okay, so let, let's not do that. Like, let's not go. Let's not get too crazy here. But um, yeah, I, I want to be able to, to display things that I wouldn't necessarily display in in the real world. Um, then the business aspect of it. So people who buy up all this land just to create businesses and create opportunities. So maybe there's particular jobs and stuff you could do. Um, so, so maybe they can hire people or maybe the business just runs itself. Maybe it is something like people just buy their way into certain places on the VV verse and you, you get paid for that. So maybe it's not an opportunity for creating jobs or maybe like moder moderation, um, somehow some type of management, like business structures and stuff so in some way, shape or form, some type of business is being built within the VV verse. I feel like it's going to be a huge contributor to the, to this move and to this $10 Omi. Um, then gaming, the gaming aspect of the VV verse is going to be massive. I think the gaming aspect is going to be one of the biggest aspects because obviously that's where people are going to spend the majority, well, the, the, the young people are going to spend the majority of their time in the VV verse playing these different games and stuff that we have, like whatever games they're going to be like the mini games. And I mean, hopefully we can get some really, really big triple A type games at some point throughout the VV verse and have that whole experience improved a lot. Or like, like Trevor was suggesting, maybe have a section where you have portals to other games and stuff. So, and that's all done through the VV verse. And you know, there's kind of some kickback for, for the VV verse, putting somebody on Fortnite or something, or putting somebody on call of duty, like call of duty, kick, kick, kick them back a, a, a reference um, payment or something like, I, I don't know. Um, but just something like that. Like it, it's so many different ways they can go about this. We don't know exactly how the VV verse is going to work yet and all the different features that's gonna be implemented, but we just know, we know enough to know that they're thinking about adding the majority of this stuff here, or all of this stuff here, to be fair. We know that they're talking about all of this. Um, And, and last, like music, concerts, and events. So music, they, they've already said that they're gonna have musical-based NFTs. Um, <clears throat> Then they're gonna be hosting concerts and events and stuff like that as well within VV. So this is going to be an opportunity where you can have a concert on VV. You get some type of ticket for joining. And that that ticket is something that you can show off in, in a whole ticket room in your home or something, or a whole ticket section um, or something like that. So this is my vision for the VV verse. I feel like people are going to be flexing with like their cars. Like, and let's not, we haven't even talked about like the real cars. Like, I think they're going to bring like Lambos and stuff like that into VV, like NFT form. They already have a partnership with GM. Um, and some other car brands. So I think Chevy as well, like they're gonna have some some of those type of NFTs where they can show these in the VV verse. And it, it's just like, it, it looks amazing. So I wanna see this real world aspect along with this kind of like DeLorean driving, like just fun. Like, so sometimes you can hop into, okay, I, I, wanna, I wanna pull up in a, like a Rolls Royce today. Cool, but to, to, tomorrow, I, 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 let, let, let's stop flexing. Let's pull out the nerd side. I want to pull up in the DeLorean. Like, you know, and, and it's not going to be many people in the V-verse who could do that. If you think, by the time we get here, like when it when it's, when it's the V-verse is this this massive, it's going to be like, we're going to be quite a few seasons down the line. So honestly, the, the DeLorean is going to be a sought after item. The, the DeLorean is going, like, and that's what's crazy. People are like, these cars and stuff in the V-verse are super, super cheap right now. But these things are going to be super valuable by the time we get to like season 10. Like, let's say by the time we hit season 10, let's say we have some cars from GM, maybe have a Ferrari or whatever. Those are, of course, this is for a Ferrari. That's always going to be crazy. That's always going to be valuable. But at the same time, somebody pulls up in a DeLorean from season one. The only way you could have got your hands on that is if you were here from season one. Bro, that's going to be more sought after than some of these like supercars and stuff nowadays that they could potentially get on VV. So it's just, uh, I, I want to see the perfect mix of the real world mixed with metaverse, enjoyment, entertainment, collecting type of, I want to see just a, a, a environment for the V-verse that just embodies it all. And it's just a Omi burning machine, which it, it honestly, based on everything that they've said, this is their intentions. This is what they want the um, VV-verse to be. So this is just some of my thoughts on how the $10 Omi is currently being built and structured because this is what they've been talking about. They've been talking about adding on to homes and things like that. You can buy upgrades for your home so you can have a different home and bigger home. 
And I want to see differences. I want to see a selection of different types of pools, certain pools more expensive than others, and not even just for NFT format. I mean, everything I don't feel like has to be an NFT. Some things could just be like, who wants to buy a pool NFT? That's not like what's, I mean, it could be an NFT, but not, not for the sake of being, I guess, valuable, or maybe it could be like, maybe, maybe they could, maybe that makes sense. Maybe it makes sense to have a collection of pools minted in NFT form, one of ones. All these different pools are one of ones. And that's just it. These are the pools that you make. So let's say one guy wants, a, wants to get a pool from this other guy. One rich guy wants to get a pool from another rich guy. The only, Like you want this one particular pool that you saw in the VVverse that looks amazing. You want that pool. So you just have to go to that guy and try to get him to sell it to you. And it's crazy. You could just pick it up off his house and drop it at your house. That'd be insane. But um, yeah, like maybe it makes sense to make collections of pools where first appearances of pools and like, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So honestly, I think it could be interesting. Obviously, I don't think pools and stuff like that, uh, accessory collections will sell out like crazy, but it could get to a point where certain pools just look so much better that people start to pay a ton of money for certain for certain accessories that they see in other homes that they want to acquire and bring back to theirs. So I want I want that to be an aspect of the VVverse where you can go and visit people's houses and things like that. Like if you have a ton of money, you can go and see someone's house with a nut with a ton of money and make them an offer on some of their land or some of their property or some of the things that they have, the assets. Like people should be able to walk around people's homes and and or you can you should be able to, to decide if people can just walk around your home so they can maybe send you an offer on something. Because obviously in a metaverse, they won't be able to steal from you. So yeah, like if they can't steal it from you, it's no problem in letting them in your house see everything. And then you wake up to people who have toured your home and they have sent you offers on some of the stuff that you own, which you may be willing to sell for certain prices. So, I mean, this 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 is just my vision of the the how the um the the ten dollar Omi can really come into existence. We've we've heard so many different talks about this we've heard so many different things coming from david dan and just we've talked about so many different ways that this could become a thing but i think that we're getting closer to ever to that point in time but yeah let me know what you all think in the comment section down below um i don't want to go too too long about this obviously i could talk about this all day long man it's, it's one of my favorite things to think about um but yeah th this metaverse is going to be insane like it, this is just scratching the surface of some of these things so let me know your thoughts. Be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. Turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on. And yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.